Why is it important to understand different research methodologies? Well, the answer is simple. The right research methodology is like a map that guides researchers to their destination. It provides a structured approach to answer the research question accurately and efficiently. One such methodology that stands out in the field of epidemiology is the nested case control study. A nested case control study is a unique kind of case control study that is tucked or nested within a cohort study. This innovative design allows researchers to examine the relationship between exposure variables and outcome events within a defined cohort. Our journey begins with a well-defined cohort, a group of individuals who share a common characteristic or experience within a defined period. The exposure statuses of these individuals are already known, providing a solid foundation for the study. The next step is the selection of cases and controls. Cases are those individuals from the cohort who have developed the outcome of interest during the follow-up period. On the other hand, controls are a subset of individuals from the same cohort who did not develop the outcome. These controls are carefully matched to the cases based on criteria like age, gender, or other relevant factors. Once we have our cases and controls, the next step is exposure assessment. This involves determining the exposure status based on information collected from the cohort study before the outcome occurred. This could be done using various methods such as questionnaires, medical records, or biomarker measurements. The data collected is then subjected to analysis. Odds ratios are commonly used to measure the association between exposures and outcomes. Statistical methods such as conditional logistic regression are often employed to account for the matched case control design. But like all research methodologies, nested case control studies come with their own set of advantages and limitations. They allow for efficient use of cohort data, provide a temporal relationship between exposure and outcome, and enable the study of multiple exposures relative to a single outcome. However, they can be vulnerable to selection bias less efficient for rare exposures or outcomes and prone to misclassification bias if exposure assessment is not accurate. Nested case control studies have found a myriad of applications. For instance, they've been used to assess the association between smoking status and lung cancer within a large prospective cohort of individuals. Another example is a study investigating the relationship between dietary habits and cardiovascular disease outcomes in a population-based cohort. To wrap things up, nested case control studies offer a unique approach to investigate relationships within cohort settings. By understanding the design, methodology, advantages, and limitations of this study design, researchers can effectively utilize nested case control studies to address important research questions. Remember, the right research methodology is not just about getting to the destination. It's about enjoying the journey and making the most of the resources along the way.